Hello everybody, it's me, Rebecca Pierce. Welcome to my Wellness Wednesday Tips. I am your creative transformation and mindset strategist, and that means I'm simply here to help plant seeds in your mind to help you change your thoughts, to change your life, so that you could have better relationships, better healthy relationships, a better sense of purpose and self, and of course, grow your businesses or your career and be financially stable, whatever that means for you, right? But I'm super excited to be back here with you on this Wednesday with three more fabulous Wellness Wednesday tips. But before we get started, let's talk about what was the first thought that came into your mind this morning after, of course, saying a prayer of gratitude and thanks for waking up this morning. Because as you know, we don't control what our bodies decide to do. So if the heart wants to stop beating, it's going to stop beating, right? So what was that first thought after the prayer? Was it something positive and life-affirming? I'm going to have a great day today. I'm going to be supportive and uplifting of others today. Or was it something negative and life-draining? Oh my God, I got all these meetings. I don't really want to do this. The thing is, we have to come to understand that the thoughts that enter our mind in the morning, first thing in the morning, are pretty much the thoughts that are going to govern your day. So if you begin with a negative life-draining thought, then throughout the day, you're going to continue to have those negative life-draining thoughts. My job is to help you see how changing it to a positive thought can help set you up for a positive day. That doesn't mean that stuff's not going to happen, but what it means is that you'll be able to handle it because you have support. And that is you are training your brain to think on the positive mindset, the growth mindset, not the past, the life draining belief systems that have kept you stuck where you're at. So think about that. What were the first thoughts that came into your mind? And let's begin to practice changing those. The second thing I want to talk about or how I always begin my Wellness Wednesdays is breath. Listen, as I've said, so many of us are walking around this planet holding our breaths, waiting for the bomb to drop on us. Ladies and gents, we got to let that go because when you are holding breath, you are withholding from your body the energy and the oxygen that you need literally to survive. Oxygen that we receive from the air provides our body with life-saving nutrients. Our blood vessels, the cardiovascular system carries that oxygen to every organ in our body, every organ system, and it allows us to continue to grow and be healthy in our bodies to work. Exhaling, when we exhale, we are releasing the toxins. And that would, of course, be carbon dioxide that we release back into the universe, back into Mother Nature. Who needs that? She needs what we have to grow and we need what she has to grow. So it's important to understand physiologically that we need to practice breath. Spiritually and mindset wise, letting go, exhaling, again, you are releasing toxicity from your mind, from your body. You're inhaling love. So I want to do a deep breath uh, exercise with you. And again, you can find all kinds of apps that teach you how to do deep breathing because what it does is that, you know, when life comes at you, not only do you have the positive thought to help you get through it, but the deep breath allows you to recenter and refocus. And that's what we want to do. We want to have a resource, a tool for us to grab onto when life is doing what it's supposed to do, which is kick our butts. <laughs> Teach us a lesson, but kicking our butts while it's doing it, right? So with this deep breath exercise, I want us to inhale deeply. And when we inhale, I want your tummy to extend. And when you're inhaling, I want you to think about inhaling and saying to yourself, I'm inhaling love, peace, joy, and prosperity. On the exhale, your body, sh your stomach should flatten, excuse me, flatten that tummy out because you're releasing everything. And what you want to say is I'm releasing anger, fear, pain, and, and shame, whatever those negative feelings are that you have, right? So let's try this exercise really quick, right? So let's inhale. Love, peace, joy, and abundance. <sighs> exhale, Sh shame, fear, anger, doubt, whatever those toxic traits are for you, right? Let's do it again. Inhale. Love, peace, joy, and abundance. <sighs> Exhale, anger, sheer, pain, and doubt. Right, so do do your um, a couple of those in the morning, a couple sets of those. Again, get an app that will help guide you through that. But I just, I want to get you to understand the power of breath. 
and the power of being centered and focused. That is so very, very important to managing your way graciously through this journey called life, right? So let's get into our three tips for today. So I hope you have your pen and your paper. The first tip I want to give you today is the word achieve. Now, achieve to achieve all you need to do is set realistic goal, set a realistic goal, and then make progress toward that goal each day. So what is the goal that you have for today? What is the goal that you have for this week? I want you to write that down and really think about what's the one thing you can do each day to achieve that goal. So if it's to save $100 this week, then what's the, what are the steps that you can do to help that occur? Well, maybe not buy your Starbucks latte. Maybe not go out to lunch, right? What can you do? What is a step that you can take to help you achieve a particular goal? Understand that how you that taking a step, one step towards your goal each day is an achievement. Some of you are sitting here thinking that you can't achieve or do anything. That's a lie. Yes, you can. You just have to identify what is the one thing you want to do. Is it realistic? Like you look, saying I want to lose 50 pounds in one week, that ain't realistic, sis. That's <laughs> not realistic at all. But a pound or two is realistic. And so you need to look at, well, what do I need to do to make that happen? How do I work with the universe in line with the universe to achieve that loss of one or two pounds? And it begins with the mind. How you're thinking, how you're speaking to yourself, what you're believing in your heart about yourself, and then what you're searching for in the universe to affirm that, right? So what are you putting in your body? It's not just about food. It's also about words. What are you feeding your body, right? So achieve is our first word for today. What are you going to do? What goal, what step are you going to put into place to achieve a particular goal today or for this week, right? Now, to achieve a goal, to put in, to, to take the steps towards achieving that goal requires our next word, which is courage. This is one of the um, words we talked about on our Monday, our Lemonade uh, Mindset Monday Live that um, we hosted in our Tales of an Ex Superwoman group on Facebook. Um, again, it's a private group for women, but courage was the word that we began the mindset, the Lemonade Mindset for this week. And courage just is basically understanding that the real magic in your life, it happens when you have the courage to step outside of your comfort zone. As I talked about on Monday, this is really hard for a lot of people to do, to step outside of their comfort zone because they, are, they have this unrealistic fear. In many cases, it is very much unrealistic that people won't um, understand it, um, people will make fun of them, or they won't be able to do it, they don't have this or they don't have that. Since that's all a lie, you have got to discover, or the only way to discover the endless possibilities for your life, for your dreams, for your goals, is to step outside of your comfort zone. So what's the one thing you can do this week that you can do today that takes you out of it? I gave the example in our group of how I hosted a pop-up for our bakery, Maggie's Cupcake Cafe, last weekend, totally out of my comfort zone. Because, you know, just going in public with my desserts, I mean, we've been in business for almost two years now, and we're basically, we just deliver only. I don't do public events necessarily. So I wanted to challenge myself, though, to see what my business could do, what I could do, what I was capable of. And so as as I prepared it, with the menu, and what I wanted to do, I, I, had to, I had to keep myself grounded with a lot of deep breathing. <laughs> because this was something that's so uncomfortable for me. Although, you know, many of you know me and have watched me and I seem like this big extrovert, but really, I'm an introvert. I have no problem staying at home in my house, right? Reading a book, doing nothing. But I know that in order to achieve this goal that I have, this dream that I have for my company becoming a multi-million dollar brand, that means I have to step outside of my comfort zone. So was it terrifying doing it? Absolutely. Did I do it? Absolutely. So how can you tap into courage this week, tap into courage today, and do one thing outside of your comfort zone? Make that phone call, send that email, set up that meeting, show up at that event, step outside of your comfort zone, find out what are the possibilities of your life. Find out, right? All right, so again, we've gone through the first two. They were achieve, you know, you got to set up, 
a goal and then take one step towards it each day. Make sure it's realistic and attainable, right? Make sure it's realistic and attainable. That is so important because you do not want to set yourself up for failure, right? At all. Be as successful as you can be. And again, understanding that success is trying. It's not always, a, it's not always you know, the big win. It is trying because trying is achieving, right? The second uh, tip we talked about was courage. Step outside of your comfort zone. What's the one thing you can do this week to do that? To find out what the endless possibilities can be for yourself, your business, your family, your career, whatever it is. And then our third and final tip, is our actually our Take Action Tuesday word uh, from yesterday. Every Tuesday, you know, we have, a, we have a Take Action Tuesday word. And this week, that word was blossom. Such a beautiful word, particularly now we're in spring and these flowers are blossoming and they're bringing pollen with them, which is not very fun for me <laughs> because it brings out my allergies. But we're talking about blossom in a symbolic sense. And when you blossom, you're using your talents to do something you love. I want to encourage you today on this Wellness Wednesday to use your talent to do something that you love. How will you let yourself bloom today? So if you're like me and you like to bake, why not bake um, someone a special treat today? Um, if you know that you love to sing, why not send someone a singing telegram, right? Just really think about it. What is the talent that you have, the gift that you have that you can do something with it today that you love to do. Maybe it is doing a live singing. Maybe it is, you know, just showing up at a friend's house with a bouquet of roses, you know, just because. But it's just whatever it is, allow yourself to blossom into the fullness of you, right? These three tips are all connected because what you're doing when you're when you're taking a step towards a goal and, and what you're doing is you're being courageous, Courageous to want to achieve something. And that means you're blossoming, right? That is so important to understand that every day you have the opportunity to achieve something fantastic in your life. It's just by simply being courageous enough to bloom. How powerful is that? Courageous enough to bloom, right? Okay, so those are our three Wellness Wednesday tips. I hope that they are beneficial to you this week. Again, if you have tips that you think I should share, feel free to email them to me, Rebecca at rlpproductions.com, or you can go to my website, uh, RebeccaLPierce.com or rlpproductions.com and send us a message. Of course, I'm all over social media. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm there at Rebecca Lynn Pierce. On Facebook, I'm there as Rebecca.L.Pierce. And on LinkedIn, of course, I'm Rebecca Pierce. But either way, you can find me, right? So follow follow me. And if you want to join Tales of an Ex Superwoman, again, it's a group uh, only for women. Um, please send us that message on Facebook. Look, look up the group, ask to join. It's all about providing positive, uplifting, progressive content for women who are looking to grow and create their best life now. And again, that best life looks like someone who's healthy physically, spiritually, emotionally, and financially, who's in a loving relationship with self and with others, and is being of service to self and their community, and is making the best out of their financial opportunities as possible, right? So join me next Wednesday when I'll have another three Wellness Wednesday tips. In the meantime, make sure you also follow this page on YouTube. Follow my uh, page for your update alerts for every Wednesday when we pop up on here with the Wellness Wednesday tip. Share the video if you with someone that you know uh, could use the words of encouragement. And I thank you so much for joining me today. You guys have a fantastic day. Okay, bye.